All right, man, let's talk about Taraji Langdon. He spoke on, excuse me, he spoke on the Pistons um, veterans and how they had an impact so far on uh, on the team. So uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next to the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Uh, so let's see if we can pull this up. You know, uh, man, hold on. Uh, one minute. Uh, so here we go. Uh, here we go. Took a minute to find it, but it's funny how the searches be so different on your phone and your computer. I always say that though. But yeah, you know, better uh, president. Piston president, very impressed with veteran player so far. I say K Cunningham continues to press, uh, impress the Pistons president of basketball ops, Trajan Langdon. He says, uh, he said, I've talked to a lot of them about both ends of the floor, and I've gotten here, Langdon said, during the summer league camp. He said, when he got here, he said, very aware of the young man, uh, very aware young man about, uh, I think, very aware young man about the game of basketball, talking about Coach K, cutting him on both sides and what impact winning lane. They said, knows we had to take uh, the scoring, No, he had to take the scoring route, but that's not what his game is based on. He still wants to play unselfish basketball and get other people involved. Ultimately, he knows what it is and what's the most important uh, in winning basketball. I've been very impressed with the young man's maturity, his awareness of basketball and what it takes to win. My thing is that, my thing is he didn't have to score last year. And I don't blame that on him. I blame that on Monty Williams, you know, pushing that narrative. You had guys that can score in a multitude of ways. You just didn't utilize them. It was a cookie cutter offense. Y'all empowered him. It was very late. And I, this is the great, this is a great term. It was a very lazy effort by him. You know, it was a very lazy effort by him. And that's exactly what it was. It was a very lazy effort by Monty Williams. You know, and that's one of the reasons when I looked at how they played offense and how they played defense, and it was just it was just like fuck it, it's like we tanking on purpose. That's what it looked like. You know, we playing. You know, if we playing getting everybody involved, that don't always got to have you have it don't always have to end. Miles, I heard choking. What's wrong here? But that don't always got to do with um. That ain't always got to do with the ball being in your hand. You know, we did a long, extensive live stream Wednesday talking about the importance of him taking the ball out of his hand. I do coughing like an old man. Got to give him some cough medicine. But yeah, but you know, at the end of the day, everything looks, everything that shiny looks good. But when you get in the heat of the battle, you know, you get in the foxhole with your com with your comrades, then you you know what their character made of. So until they start getting into basketball and losing games or winning games or getting in the heat of the fire, you know, when you go through adversity, you know, you'll find out who with you and who not with you. You'll find that quick, fast, and hurry. So a lot of people, a lot of these these guys, you know, we we, we you know, we don't we really don't know until we actually know who with us and who not with us, who riding with us and all that stuff. Only time, like Tupac said, and was to toss it up. You know, who can you trust? Only time will reveal. Everything seemed good when everything when it ain't nothing on the line. But when things get serious and you in a jam and you need help, you know, um, see who with you. I mean, remember the classic, you know, this saying goes from damn near in the beginning of the time. When you gotta move, you gotta move your home. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna be with you? You know, you ask people, oh, can you help me move? Nobody wanna help you move. Nobody want to help you move. You know, a real friend come and help you move. But everybody want to come over and, and watch the big screen TV, watch the big game, you know, get a meal. Everybody want to come over and get a meal and want to chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be gang men. That's crazy. That's crazy. So that's interesting. 
but you don't know until you get into the heat of the fire. So for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he feel that they all doing a good job so far, but in reality, only, only on reality, only time is really going to, only time is really going, going to reveal. Only time is really going to tell, you know, how much they going to really contribute to the squad. Only time. Only time. So we'll see. But a lot of these guys in the contract year, Tobias only signed for two years. So he literally could be auditioning for somewhere else by the trade deadline uh, this season or sometime next season. So these veterans hungry. A lot of them in the contract year. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be very, very interesting. But, yeah, you want guys to come in and be a professional. And everybody, when you like, you know, it's like the first day of school. When you in the first day of school, everybody seemed cool. Everybody seemed kind of nervous. Everybody seemed kind of kosher. Everybody seemed kosher. But as y'all get to know each other, y'all in that hot-ass classroom or y'all – Y'all kind of get to know each other. Y'all, you know, you say something or somebody's humor might be too dark or whatever. Then you start having, or some people might get closer to other people. Then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, people will form their cliques and then people had a run-ins and they beefs and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. When you get to know each other, when friction start coming, you know what I'm saying? Competition, you know, games, you know, being on the road. You know what I'm saying? Uh, disagreements about this and somebody share religion and politics and, and, and you shouldn't bring that into no work area. So then, you know, things start to change. Oh, you talk to my woman and then they beefing over that. You know, you bet this money and then, then you start to see what type of character a lot of people have. So, yeah, then you start to see what type of character a lot of these guys have. So, um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it, man. Uh, uh, but let me know what you girls and guys think and everything. I always saw, you know, Jay Z got that song with Too Short. It was good just a week ago. He might be saying he might be rapping that pretty soon. It was all good just a week ago. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. Go live. Drop video. You got Detroit Piston Talk play, playlist. Hit the link tree. You can find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.